Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve high GPU usage by the client server runtime as well as the desktop window manager that you're noticing in Task Manager on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So it should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing you want to do is open up the search menu, type in device manager. Best result, should go back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. Double click on the display adapter entry in here, and then right click on the display adapter listed in here and select update driver. Select where it says search automatically for drivers. And then you can go ahead and search for updated drivers on Windows Update. Or you can just click the back arrow and then browse your computer for drivers and select my pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select the manufacturer specific one listed in here and then select next. You can also go on to their websites if you're using Intel, NVIDIA, AMD drivers, for example. You may want to just go onto their website and then download the applicable drivers that are listed in here. The most up-to-date version, of course. So once you've done that, something else you want to look into here as well. We close out of here. Open up the search menu and type in settings. Best result, should come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the left side, select system. And on the right side, you want to select display. And then underneath related settings, you want to select the graphics entry in here. And then you want to select the change default graphics settings. If you have an option for hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, I'd recommend turning that off and then see if that is able to help resolve the problem. So something else you can look into here as well would be to close out of here. Open up the search menu, type in settings. We didn't necessarily have to close out of settings the first time, but you know we did. But anyway, if you still had it open, you just could select personalization now on the left panel. And then on the right side, you can select colors. Underneath transparency effects, you can toggle that to the off position. And then again, now, once that's done, you just close out of here and see if that has resolved the problem. One final thing we can look into here as well, open up the search menu and type in CMD. Best match, check it back with command prompt, right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this command line window, type in SFC and then a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to the forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. And once it has concluded, go ahead and close out of here. And you want to restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Pretty straightforward process. And as always, thank you for watching. I do apologize to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.